What's up dudes, Kublikon here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul, who is dropping off the giant airplane and heading down towards the Nucleus. Though, to be entirely accurate, the Nucleus is a little bit to our right, but I thought it would be fun to kind of break and do a little bit different direction. We talked about having a little bit of a different sort of adventure, you know, sides that we haven't really done, and we were going to go from up here down this way because it was new. And by doing so, we've actually run into this Horizon Flight 1207, and I wanted to keep going to the Pinecrest Cavern, which is a cavern we didn't actually enter, but I really wanted to see what was inside there. And I feel like that would be a good spot to go, to then hit the Nucleus and talk to the High Confessor, and eventually go over to Haddock Cove if we don't find any cool Mirelurks along the way. And in an interesting turn of fate, we are heading towards a new cave. Where there are machine guns. And I think this would be a very fun place to enter to kind of check out some of these new environment, like, places we just haven't seen. I mean, we've done very little just exploration of Far Harbor. And because we were primarily lore focused, and we're kind of in an interesting point where we're ready to start heading back, but I think it would be cool. Ooh, it's a pass. Interesting. Anybody else here? Nope, but they certainly don't want to have the decorations designed to encourage visitors. Alright, well, I guess let's go down it. Alright, lights off. I guess these are going to be trappers in here. Which is interesting? Not in I don't know. I really don't know what we're going to see. I mean, the way that they've set these places up, they're ghouls? Alright, that one in a pop-up in vats. See, we've talked about the whole vats thing about being able to see which ghoul is alive and which one isn't. I would have shot every single one of these ghouls just being like, check, check, check. Okay, that one was alive. And that would basically be the most effective way to check these things. Oh, one is alive. That's a withered? Yeah, it's a withered one. All right, let's, uh, let's shoot this guy in the leg first. And then that will actually increase the amount of damage because of gun foo we have on this guy. I like that, you know, kind of strategy applied to gun foo. It's an interesting way to kind of view the world where now it's like if I see one powerful enemy I actually kind of do better if there's multiple smaller enemies just kind of hidden around all right lights off I'm hidden again but I keep getting almost detected so we don't know exactly where our new friends are located Man, I love how many like skulls and things there are in here so it's clear that whoever was in here before like designed it this way and you can see that they had the hardened sniper rifle so these are probably trappers that just I love that you can see the shell falling probably behind where my head is but these are probably trappers yeah trappers who were overrun by ghouls but I, do ghouls like move in groups or do the trappers come into here and then the ghouls just sort of like hung out and we're like ah, we were already here and just started of attacking everybody Someone who was cooking Med X. And the tablespoon. Oh, hi! Oh, uh, well, isn't that kind of a, a creepy, like, you cook, heat up your th you put in the spoon. What was that from? Uh, I think that was heroin. That's how you're supposed to take heroin, from what I understood. I don't, that could be a total movie myth thing. I don't know how real that is, but from what I thought I understood was that you had a solid bit of heroin. You put it in a spoon, and then you take a lighter and you, like, heat it up, and that was, like, the really... Like, you have a problem, which you probably, if you're using heroin, you probably have a drug problem because it's a very dangerous drug. Yeah, I think that's it, because there's a Family Guy joke, which is not a legitimate source, but it is what I'm going to use, where they had Cookie Monster trying to cook cookie dough in the bathroom in a spoon like that. And that was kind of the joke that Cookie, cookie Monster was just uh, addicted to his cookies. It happens. I get it. Yeah, definitely trappers. Um, does this guy have a hook up his butt? He literally has the hook up his butt. I mean, it's kind of a tailbone. Yeah, that's more of his tailbone. It's kind of like they gave him a new tail. All right, I was thinking about that. I was like, is it like just easier to get the hook in because it's like you're not gonna hit any bone if you go in through that orifice? But it's uh, I don't know. Gross either way. <laughs> Another feral ghoul. Um, in the water. Interesting. You know, this reminds me a lot of the Super Duper Mart back in the Commonwealth where it's just like ghouls were everywhere and you're just creeping along gently, hoping not to disturb too many at once. That's uh, less scary though. I feel like it's less scary, 
Probably because it's there's less locations that they can sneak in on you from. Like in the Super Duper Mart, they were everywhere. Like any location that was possible, they would find their way through. Jesus Christ. How are there even this many human beings on the island? That, that's something I wonder about. Like, there doesn't even seem to be this, like, feral ghouls? Okay, they came from, you know, pre-war. That makes sense to me. But human beings that survived on the island, this seems... Boom! Well, yeah, exactly like the Super Duper Mart. Where did this one even come out of? There's more! Oh, he's not dead. All the way dead yet. Um, just an, I guess another arm shot? We don't need that 77. No, just the arm. Just the arm's fine. <laughs> you know, I wonder what a, like, realistic mod on Fallout would be like, where shooting people in the arm doesn't kill them. Like, immediately, like, they bleed out, and then, like, every weapon has bleeding damage. But people don't die unless you give, like, actual threatening, life-threatening shots, like headshots and things. I mean, shooting someone in the leg a lot is definitely going to make them tie through just, like, blood loss. But it won't be an immediate thing. But also, I'm curious about the flinches and the like. Huh, so that was just a, a pass through the mountains. Okay, welcome to the other side. A little kind of hidden pass. Where are we? We have gone, like pretty much nowhere that was hardly a, I guess it was a pass because you like you had to go through this way to get through the mountains themselves but that was hardly anything just a little bit of a side quest a little bit of a side experience which is which is fun I think uh, we've actually killed a lot of the trappers that were here yeah because this is Acadia up high right we come from Acadia we come down yes okay I do remember a lot of this as a reminder to everybody, there are, in fact, a bunch of beds in this location. I'm going to just jump back on the map right here. Zoom back out. It's in between Pinecrest, which has beds. Kitteridge Pass, which has beds. Horizon Flight, which has beds. No, there are a ton of beds. You know, I was talking about how I felt like Far Harbor had significantly less beds than the Commonwealth. But now that we, like, actually just looked at it, I just, I wasn't, like, finding them. It was really what was happening. I mean, that makes sense if you don't know where they are. You don't necessarily want to get into a fight and discover there weren't any beds there. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember this place. This is where we found the first dude stuck in the bathroom. God, that was a bird. Jeez. All right, let's uh, let's check out more trappers or see if there's ghoulies in here. Hello? I'm going to turn off that light. It's This seems very trapper-focused. I mean, unless ghouls have been setting up their own sort of happy places where they can hang out. Man, this feels exactly... I, these trappers and this environment totally feels like a place where there was forsworn back in Skyrim. I mentioned that before. It's just yes. such an uncanny like similarity to me. As we're moving around, as our sneaky archer character with the pistol right now. There's you. And there's your... Okay. Trappers shooting at us, but they don't know where we actually are. Oh man, if I had cow traps, I would totally be throwing those out right now. They don't really know where we are. We're relatively hidden from them. I don't see anybody coming from our right. Just these people on the left. This guy here. Not a problem anymore either. This guy a little bit closer. A scrounging trapper. Not too much of a problem. I, uh, I think I might grenade just because I'm not getting a good line of sight on any of them. Up, oh, he moved. There you go. Yeah, we still got 95% chance to hit him. Perfect. Alright. Oh, man, this is great. I love being like Batman, just invisible. Moving through the dark, and they don't know where we are. They just hear a couple like light fl flicks. Maybe a couple stings from the bullets hitting them. And then silently drop back down. None the wiser about what happened. Oh, one more. I see. It's probably preparing to walk up through this way. Hmm. Sniffing air heavily? I, uh, I don't believe I smell that noticeable, dude. <gasps> Clearly not very noticeable, being that you're just dead. Alright, let's give this place a little bit of more of a look-see. Ooh, a nice little mattress to save in. Yeah, uh, a lot of saves now that you have. I have an idea of where to go to get saves. I keep picking up whiskey that we find because I want to be able to make great Mentats. And, I mean, we haven't even really been taking the time to do so, but I just, I want to have the access, the option. Machete, right hand bones, some handcuffs and things? Is this a, like a place where they would, ooh, a hide bundle, where they would like torture people? Nah, it seems like just a 
normal place. Ooh, ooh, we go deeper into the cave. Before we do that, though, I swear I just looked at this and I was thinking, oh, I can mine for some ore here. Skyrim's on the brain, yo. Ooh, Skywind is, uh, I saw a thing for it, which is basically a bunch of modders have taken Morrowind and applied the Skyrim engine to that game. So they've basically recreated Morrowind in Skyrim. And it's, I never actually played Morrowind when I was in my Elder Scrolls experience. I am very excited about it because I just loved Skyrim. And I think it would be a fun game to kind of move a roleplay aspect into. All right, let's uh, keep scooting back this way and see if we can find anybody new. Light off. A lot of cam chimes, which I I don't like dis like disengaging these because they they take a lot of weight. All right, here a uh, uh, that problem solved. No wibbly wobblies on our indicators, which makes me think. Ooh, a lot of stuff in there, which makes me think that, in fact, there will probably be no more humans. And very similarly to the last thing we just went to with the cave. <laughs> I heard that click, but they were expecting we came from this direction. And so since I walked underneath the grenades, they did not hit me. Oh, man. I wonder if we're going to run into a bunch of trappers in this direction. No, it's a hole. Okay, this is fascinating to me because why did they have the trap facing the wrong way if they had a hole here? This is the only way to get to this spot. <laughs> only way. <laughs> it's like he's drinking. Oh, we, we, we've been in this room, haven't we? No, there's a toilet in here, so we've not been in this room. Indicators. Gotta look for indicators. Wait, haven't we? I feel like we have. I feel like this was the... Oh my god. His head is a chandelier. That's... Like, kind of surprisingly... I wouldn't say enlightened taste, but I I, I mean like... they It has good placement. <laughs> so we have in fact gone through here. This is... This was the, uh, the entrance point before. Oh, that's fascinating. They wrap around into each other. This whole cave system's connected. And we're back out. All right. I guess this time I'll just head straight to the nucleus so we can talk to Tectus. And very importantly, we've got a ton of stuff stored back at the nucleus. So we're going to be able to pick up a lot of our items. The marine recon armor for one, which I hope we'll be able to figure out some way to balance carrying that or wearing that and moving it about. Because I don't want to leave it out in Far Harbor. It should come back to Diamond City or something. I mean, that of course assumes that we have space to take it, and I've got a couple of things that I want to do on our way back from Far Harbor into the Commonwealth. I mean, I wanted to look for that 144 pistol that you guys were talking about, the uh, one that's supposed to light things on fire. I think that would be a fun pistol to pick up, and I'm kind of glad we didn't pick it up on the way to Far Harbor. So if, not that I feel like it's a problem to be extra powered, but I feel like it might have made the experience not quite as educational. Because we've learned, like, how powerful a 10 millimeter can be because of how quickly it can fire. Gather, brothers and sisters. Ugh. Gather to hear his word. Oh. How cool is this? It's totally like the beginning. But now we're going to hear a sermon of peace. Peace. In the throes of a brilliant vision. He spoke, and now I obey. Atom demands peace. With Far Harbor. With Acadia. Within our family. And any found disobeying Atom's word will answer for their crimes. Let none stand in the way of his radiant will. Glory to Atom! <laughs> hey, what's up? Excuse me, High Confessor. You. I knew it. I knew it was you. In my vision. There, beside our brilliant master. Here, you must have this. It. It only seems right it's worn by his favored child. Interesting. What arm is this? So it adds energy, damage and energy resistance increase with rads, and it starts at 15. 
This is as powerful as a chest piece. Wow. I would love to have that. Absolutely. That's it. That's, uh, that's the only bit of conversation we need to do. You know what? I would be very curious to see if we don't have to kill Sister Nakano anymore. Here, I presume you've dealt with the heretic? He just said peace. Could we try talking with her? Wish it were the case. Interesting. They, uh, won't do I it? Won't do it. This is not a suggestion. Interesting. Yeah, he just, uh, I was curious if the game would update that and be like, he would say something along the lines of, like, peace. it's okay. With Far Harbor. If it is the will of Adam. It totally is. It's totally the will of Adam. You gotta, I gotta accept that. Us. Now, I just noticed something very important. You can cook right here. All that time I was talking about, I couldn't find a place to cook. Now, I see why I missed it, because I'm not used to looking for these kind of things. I can get that. But it's right next to the guy sitting next to both his heads. Right here. Walk through. Here's the, uh, the arcanist, archimist, whatever her name was. Bam. It's right there. I uh, also want to do this, because it's always fun. Yes. The deadly jump. What's Archimist Pardon, say now? Archimist. Peace in Adam's kingdom. Such a strange event. Did you need aid? No, I'm pretty good. What about Mai? Mai. Can't imagine what kind of revelation it was to turn the High Confessor off wiping out Far Harbor. Well, can I show you the stock? Wow, a lot of these people just so, don't seem to have really that big of a care. They're just like, huh. I guess, if Adam's will and stuff. What about, what about Theo? Zealot Theo. The High Confessor's vision. I will it doesn't make sense. From these shores. Peace? Why would Adam want peace? Sorry, what did you need? Interesting. Everybody's just, like, mind blown. Which surprises Many me, because as our character, Adam's we... Faith. Martin originally didn't even care about, like, what was required from Adam. Adam didn't demand anything from anyone. And so it's surprising. If you're thinking of taking care of matters yourself. In this guy too. Like I'll take a look. Sure. Everybody's all surprised that we're being kind. That's fascinating how much Confessor Tectus changed the family to making them think, yeah, it's okay to be evil and harsh and stuff, even though the original Martin was like, no, we don't want to be like that. We want to be more chill. Holy Adam, we shall crush their walls and drive their heresy into the sea. I don't think that's the case anymore, strange, stranger person just talking into the quiet. You know, I think it's a good idea to do the uh, action boy for our next level up. That or ninja could be kind of cool, too. I think we should do ninja. We've been doing enough sniping and long distance stuff that something like ninja will be useful. I think we should wear these to the crater of Adam. Uh, we were originally just going to wear the child of Adam's robes, but I think these would be worthwhile. We should take them with us as our outfit that we choose to wear. Turns out pre-war money is crazy valuable. It was, uh, we're getting over a thousand caps for 335 of it. Well, that took a lot of effort to gather everything that we needed, but I have all our armors from uh, the Marine Recon stuff, all carrying them. And so we're able to pretty much take everything that was really valuable. So we're currently wearing the champion right arm with the agility and perception. I want to put on Avin's bulwark. I think that would be pretty cool. It's, uh, we're lo dropping some weight carrying ability a bit, and it looks ridiculous, right? Oh, man, I, God, I forgot what anime it was, but there's this character who has one, uh, robot arm, and, uh, it gives him, like, it transforms and stuff, which is very anime. It's pretty cool, actually. I remember liking it and thinking it was pretty fun. It had some stories and stuff based off of the characters who were able to have this, like, almost parasitic robot arm on him. But I like how that looks, actually. I think that's pretty cool. And I think that is an awesome option because of how much damage resistance it gives us. I mean, if you look at it, it's giving us 19, which currently... Uh, 19 and 19, which the champion right arm gives us 15 and 9, but with the agility and perception. But this then gives us the 15-15 addition. So we're getting pretty massive amounts. And if we add this on to the rest of the Marine Recon armor, we'll be pretty well locked. I was reading up uh, a little bit on what is known as the ship killer or destroyer or something. You guys were mentioning it in the comments that apparently there is a fog crawler that's massive. And so I googled a little bit more information about that fog crawler. And it turns out that this guy comes out randomly 
and that you can actually get a mission based off of finding it by like completing Echo Lake Lumber or a variety of the other particular settlements that if you're able to open up these settlements and come back people will say hey we have a job for you we need to find this scary thing and it turns out to be the crazy gigantic fog crawler called ship something something well, I'm really curious how big this location is because look at all the stuff you're able to grab the bed of the truck the truck itself the truck itself wow this is pretty epic ton of stuff available children of adam are dangerous don't trust them that's exactly what i am dude well it seems like out of the people that i've chatted with here just real quick there doesn't seem to be anyone who is saying hey look out for the fog crawler or anything like that so in that case let's just continue heading back on the haddock vicious wolves out in this distance i see you guys don't act like you don't know that i'm here all right one shot to you one shot to you you're already injured a lot, so I guess we'll just shoot you a couple times, and we'll shoot you a couple times, and we'll shoot a couple more times. That's cool. Most efficient use of our bullets and ability to kill people. I like it. Ooh, what a cool sound. Oh, that one's just disappearing, so he's able to kind of get away? Yeah. Come on back, bro. So, wolves, you're only able to use the meat if you have lure reed, and so I'm not going to collect any of their meat. It's just pointless. I mean... We have a bunch of things in Commonwealth that we'll be able to eat from, and uh, we won't need to worry about the lure weed anymore. So things I'm most excited about with getting back to the Commonwealth, I, I'm looking forward to finishing this character and starting some new stuff. And so, like I said, there'll be some video coming up, and I'm really, I'm excited about that. That'll be fun. I mean, I want to get back to Far Harbor again at some point with a build, because this is a fun place, and I'd love, love to do a build that was about killing everyone. I think that would be a lot of fun to do a build that's just like, evil or renegade where it's just like makes friends with everyone but then ends up doing all the most terrible evil things like blowing up the children of adam or cutting off far harbor but only after you release the people of far harbor onto acadia the worst possible things that one can do i heard another explosion when i just got over here I wonder what that is New building we haven't actually explored before. Looks uh, kind of familiar, but uh, I don't remember the doors. Oh, how'd it go? Yeah, right, so let's get some Mirelurks. Oh, what do you do with the legendary glowing Mirelurk? That's super scary. Oh, heals. Oh, God. All right. I, uh, for some reason, because it's the, we get towards like the end of the world, I kind of feel like, I guess, stronger less afraid of things, and that was the wrong selection. I've learned that lesson. I have already learned that lesson. You know, although it kind of sucks that that just happened, I forgot about the fusion cores that were included just for free around have here. You finished your prep? There we go. This will make me feel a little bit better that at least I get to run around in some cool looking armor. So currently, we're kind of living off of Radstag meat. Without it, I'd be super overweight. I think I only have like seven more pounds available, and so I'm just keep gonna eat Radstag meat every time until we get ourselves back to the Commonwealth and some place where I can, you know, drop some of this stuff off. Hi, bear. Wow. Wow, we do a lot of damage. How much damage do they do to us in the suit? Not a lot. Hit me again. All right, that one hurt a lot more, but still not a lot of damage, really. I'm debating on doing the Cabot House still with this character, because the point was to get that radiation gun, and we have a gamma gun now. It's not as cool of a weapon, like significantly less cool of one. The weapon that you're supposed to get from Cabot House, from what I understand, was related was a radiation gun, but then it had this extra level to it, where it was like, instead of doing radiation damage, the radiation like damage listed actually did ballistics damage. Oh, God. Okay, should have thought of that. Anglers come out of the water. Anglers do that. Yeah. Seriously, dude, leave me alone. Alright, let's shoot some of these. I can't recall if there was actually a bed here. I think there was. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, carapace. That's right. And then we have the legendary guy pops out right there. There you are. Come on over. Come along, my friend. This time I will not use a mine and blow my whole face off. I will fall in the water again. I will consistently do that. Oh man, look at the, like, the effect on the sky when you keep going in and out of the water. <laughs> Just turns sepia and then 
Negative. Alright, let's... Oh, oh, look at him. Skitter, 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 skitter. Ooh. Come on, dude. Ah, uh, wow, and you guys have such incredible defense when I'm shooting your shells. Alright, he's just hiding over... Alright, hold on, hold on. There you go. And then we'll have our third one be this guy over here. Alright, right there. That's gonna bunk him. Bunk! Oh, that was a dead one. But we did send it flying. We gave it its greatest dream. The flying murloc. Hmm. There's the legendary one I wanted, right? Yes, that is the one. I could tell because it hurt me very badly when it punched me. Oh. Oh, okay. Hold on, let's do a headshot for you. You gross, gross thing. Yeah, that hurt, didn't it? Didn't it? Oh, that's a good look. That's a cool looking character that we've built right now. So you guys were explaining to me that this whole area is an, oh, nice, is an Easter egg related to, uh, what are they called? Uh, wrestling from WWE. I guess we'll shoot his, his arms? Nah. Now we're just gonna jump over his head. And we're gonna jump in the water now. This is a cool spot. I haven't actually gotten a really good chance to, like, admire this place as much. We kind of just ran straight through this. I also really like how the whole joke was that the ow, that these individuals felt safe being on the water, and it turns out that nope, you're uh, you're not safe on the water, at all. Oh hey big guy, that's oop into the water now. Oh it fell down. I thought it was gonna be on the on the bridge, so that was a safe thing to jump. All right, God. All right, you know what? Mines. We're not running this time, so I feel safe throwing a mine out. Good. Nobody there, nobody there. Perfect. Second mine. Walk over here. All right, you're just kind of injured, so I'll just kill you. One myelocarapace. Uh-oh. No, I didn't want to throw another mine. You know what? It's okay, though, because it is just a mine, so I will throw it out. Pick it right back up. I meant to punch the dude off the top here. There you go. Come on. Oh, God damn it. I didn't mean to fall in the water. Krabby! No, Krabby, up here. Alright, I'm gonna hide it in his dead brother. Or sister. His dead family member. Ow! Ow! Our, our minds are getting pretty powerful. I, uh, I need to be careful with that. There you are. Oh, you're stuck now! Well, let's just ignite you, then. Legendary enemy is mutated. Okay. You know, we haven't tried this as much, which is exploding a grenade in vats. I think it's really fun when you see this uh, laser in third person. Like, it just, it looks very silly. <laughs> well, we can drop that save, so that's going to be super beneficial. Oh, there he is. He went to the land. Dude, don't leave us alone out here. It's lonely without you. Hello, other Mirelurks. Well, let's just play a game of Mirelurk Explosion, shall we? Wow, there's a lot of them. Woo! Alright, uh, Mirelurk Explosion game? First contestant? Alright, was the legendary. Heading off in this direction. High sprint. Mine turn. Hits the legendary again. Shoot low. Try to take out the legs. Alright, oh, there's another one. It's a razor claw into the water again. Holy crap, we're going to die, going to die, going to live, going to live, just barely. Oh, it's right behind us in the water. This is the one we're worried about. Eat more of their brethren. Oh, in the water again. God, that kill claw is everywhere. I hear it behind me again. Alright, come on, kill claw. How well can you navigate these? Not very well, I hope. Not well enough that you decided to not walk into my trap. Alright, well this one at least is just injured, so... Alright, I, I don't care about the other kill claw. This is what I cared about. Don't really want it. You can keep it. That's kind of disappointing. After all of that, it was a troubleshooter. 
All right, dudes. Final. Oh, just let me save. There we go. Final bit. Jeez, that took forever. Okay, so there we go. Like I was talking about, we have our general idea and understanding of how we're going to have our character when they're coming back to uh, the Commonwealth after Far Harbor. I don't. Th I'm as I talk about. What do you guys think I should do with the Cabot House radiation gun? Because we're basically done. We easily are going to get all the fusion cores that we need. We just have to go collect them, put on our suit, and then go walk through to the crater of Adam. I'm not sure how long the walk's going to take, but uh, something that'll be pretty fun, and we can kind of just enjoy that. So anyway, dudes, let me know down below, and thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked yourself, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button to my side. Of course, may the ground rise to each feet. The wind always be at your back, and may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.